I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Joe, you my guy, but you can't fold under pressure. This is exactly why you're independent and you don't rock with these platforms. If you know you did something under good faith, pure intentions, you gotta feed the streets no matter what. Now, after Cardi B called out Joe Budden last week, Joe Budden did an interview with Tasha K. You guys know Cardi B does not fuck with Tasha K. She feels like Tasha has spread rumors about her. Even though Cardi B won the lawsuit, it's still not enough. Now, even though Joe does media, Cardi B still feels like, yo, I thought we were cool enough to the point where you wouldn't fuck with my ops now today on this podcast episode 658 joe budden responded back to cardi b and here's what he said but you tie the two together if you're her mm -hmm. if you're her Maybe. listen I, yeah, yeah. Ice, ice, ice has a point when you when you are not communicating with people and cardi and i don't communicate there's plenty of room for gray area right mm -hmm. so when i when i look when i look to me when i look inward i can see how she would feel that way right like i went to summer jam i came in here i talked about going to summer jam and I said I left right before Cardi came on, right? Like, if you're not speaking to somebody that you fuck with, like, why are you saying that on mm -hmm. air mm -hmm. as if... That's why mm -hmm. you left. That's one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you get to bongos. Then you're looking at somebody that you know, like, uh, this is funny, too. Mm -hmm. And then you see the Tasha K. You don't even see the interview because it's not out. But you see that, oh, and you had her up here. Oh, it's yeah. something now. And it's you something. Go, and got, it's you, something else. So I wanted to ask y'all. But look, and you went and did the one sit down with the other person. Like, if you from her look from her point of view, it could look that No, way. I think she know that. I think they both know that I rock for each other. But you can add that in. Once you start adding it all together, it could paint. So the after picture. listening to her, I did want to come in, I do want to come in here and ask y'all, like, am I wrong for that Tasha K interview? What's your relationship with Cardi? Cardi. What is my relationship with Cardi? What do you mean? We're, do you have a relationship respectful with and cordial with one another? Nah, y'all bigger than that. You, no, you're not more You champion that. Cardi. But that's, yeah. that is no, different I'm from not, a relationship. No, no. I'm talking about no I know. Yeah. I'm just saying, but you've known Cardi pre-success. Cardi has done this show. I'm, I've no, known what, Cardi before the success. I, fu I fuck with her. If you look at it from, yo, this particular person was trying to destroy my image, my reputation, my... Every my brand, mm -hmm. how I feed my kids, and then you supposed to be my homeboy, and you came and had them sit on your couch with without, the size of your without, platform without a conversation. Mm -hmm. Then it could open up the door for. It prevents content from being produced when you have relationships. A lot of classic content, a lot of devil advocacy that you can play around with with the person and sure. and take the person that you fuck with side is prevented because. People are looking at it like, oh, you had that person there and you giving them shine. But you some, know what I mean? But sometimes a conversation or text. But why would we have to check you know in? I, mean, no, I, I, I know you're going to finish. You always say, let me finish. <laughs> finish. Nigga. I'm just saying, like, sometimes a conversation, yo, Flip, I know you don't really fuck with such and such, but. I'm and if I tell you, you know what you're going to do? You're not going to do it? The other person might not do it. Might not do it? I feel like if I call somebody, I call Joe, like, yo, Joe, I'm about to interview somebody. That's, I feel like I'm asking for permission instead of saying, yo, I'm interviewing this person. You know, just I'm, letting I'm, you know. I'm letting you know, know my man, and I'm not going to let them say nothing crazy. I'm not giving them an option to say, nah, I don't want you to do that. And my brain look at it like, yo, you won against the girl. Right. She did. Yeah, you won. Yeah. yeah, but no. Yeah, but it's over. No, that's different. It's not she over, She won against though. her, though. I, she, she did. But you won not, in but court. That's the, exactly. You won in court. She you didn't, didn't win, win in public perception? Fam, the, the accusations mean. were still made. This person still tried to end me no matter what. I see what you okay. Oh. You know. Like 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 that happened. She's See, so you agree, so I'll party an apology. And I shouldn't release the interview. Wow. I think See, a but, I think I mean, a conversation. I just think a yeah. Yeah. I think a yeah. Conversation is definitely warranted. I don't think an apology, but a conversation, if that's why my my first question was what's your relationship with her? If you have a relationship that that's worthy of protecting then yeah, there's a conversation. But he didn't that's release it. it on the day oh, that yes, a, a yes, single yes, drop. It, That's it. It, it. We did it, y'all. We did it. Uh -huh. We did it. We we did it. We got to it. I'm wrong. A whole lot. I like that interview too. There was some shit in there. So you're not releasing. You're not releasing it. No, I don't know. You put me on the spot, nigga. <laughs> but you don't know. I was not releasing it just because it needed to be flagged and and, and edited and sought through. And but you, you, I never thought of the Cardi aspect. You already of this because I, I wasn't sitting here on some kick somebody back and type but, shit. But
Now, I thought it was very respectable and honorable for Joe to admit he was wrong. But personally, if you're saying that you probably won't release it, I think it might be a disservice to your fans. Joe has always been a person who's been anti-industry. This is one of those moments that you have to choose the fans over the industry. Now, in my last video, I did question why Joe would even interview Tasha K. I don't think she has anything else to give content-wise besides the whole beef with Cardi B. So if Joe has to cut around the Cardi B questions just out of respect for Cardi B or put the full interview out on the higher tier on Patreon, I think a lot of fans will understand. You can never satisfy these artists unless you're constantly praising them. Joe wasn't the only one that critiqued Bongo. Tell me what you guys think about this man. Joe Budden admits he was wrong for his Tasha K interview and is possibly looking to shelf the interview. Tell me what you guys think about this man. Would you guys still want to see this Joe Budden Tasha K interview or do you guys think Joe should just do away with the interview? Push comments below, subscribe to my channel, like this video. I'll see you guys later.